Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and in this class we are going to cover judicial hanging. Okay, so in India legal death sentences that is capital punishment is carried out by hanging in criminal cases. So hanging is the means for judicial hanging if someone is having death penalty or capital punishment in India. So it will be carried out by hanging. The face of the person is covered with a dark mask. So the face of the person will be covered with a dark mask. So many of us have already seen this thing in like movies and in web series and everything. That person who is going to be hanged in that like procedure, that person will wear a black mask in his head and he is made to stand on a platform above trap doors. So there is a trap door in which it is a, like there will be a platform in which that person has to stand and which opens downwards when a bolt is drawn so when the bolt is drawn it will be like it will move it will move okay it will be opening at that particular point of time when the bolt is drawn okay a rope is allowed to drop of five to seven meters so this is really very important the rope will be allowed to drop from five to seven meters so the distance will be five and seven meters according to weight build and age of the person so this is really very important we have to measure weight of the person and build of the person and age of the person because according to that we have to make the like a uh, rope or we have to make the arrangement okay the looped around the neck and the knot under the angle is just right near the jaw okay after that the placement of the knot beneath the chin so the placement of knot will be beneath the chin just right below the chin in a submental position in, in the submental position is said to be more effective. So the submental position is perfect for judicial hanging. Okay, on drawing the bowl, the person drops to the length of the rope. So as soon as the uh, like as the bowl is drawn, the plat the trap door will open. The person will just fall from the trap door downwards. Okay, and the like um, expected like distance will be five to seven meters. Okay, so the sudden stoppage of the moving body association with the position of the knot causes the head to be jerked violently. So because, because of the height and because of the weight and because of the sudden drop, the person head will be like jerked violently from the rest of the body. Okay, so because of that, it causes fracture and dislocation. It causes severe fracture and dislocation, usually at the level of second and third or third and fourth vertical, uh, cervical vertebrae. Okay, so here we have C2, C3, C4. So here we will see the fracture and dislocation of these uh, cervical vertebrae. Okay, bilateral fracture of either of the Pedicles. So these are pedicles. We are calling it C3, C4 means cervical vertebra, third, second like that. So these pedicles or lamellae of the arc of the second and third or fourth cervical vertebrae, it occurs near this area here. So this is the area where we will be seeing the fractures and dislocation. Okay. Now we call this thing as hangman's fracture. This is only, only visible in case of judicial hanging. Okay, so this is also known as hangman's fracture. Now, less commonly dislocation of the antero-occipital joint or odontoid process of the axis vertebra occurs that causes plumping of the spinal cord and transaction of the cervical, uh, cervical cord causing the neck to be lengthened considerably. That's why this connection breaks off and the person just suddenly gets unconscious. Okay. Now the upper cervical cord is stretched and drawn. This is drawn across. With proper judicial hanging, there is a rupture of the brain stem between the pons, the uh, basal area of the brain and the medulla, the mid area of the brain. This results in instantaneous and irreversible loss of consciousness. Please make note that this loss of consciousness is irreversible. We cannot reverse it back. Why this happens? Due to destruction of reticular 
formation due to destruction of reticular formation and this irreversible thing that happens because of destruction of region around the respiratory center that's why this is irreversible and uh, like this is the permanent unconsciousness of a person this result in immediate unconsciousness the heart beats of course and respiratory movements may continue up to 10 to 15 minutes so this is a big big time so the person might breathe uh, like around 10 to 15 minutes or the heart will still work until the hypoxia causes the heart arrest cardiac arrest